Now, the Suzuki Celerio is the auto replacement in the global market and it also comes with a 1-litre K-series engine, which means that it would have been the ideal choice to replace the Alto K10 with. But Maruti Suzuki wanted the Alto 800, the K10 and the Celerio to coexist in India. So what we have here is a new Alto K10. Now, despite what you will see in metros like Delhi and Mumbai, uh, the Alto was never really a chauffeur-driven car. The rear seat space was never really all that ample. But with the K10, the space has improved. Now, the seat is set to my driving preference and still there is enough amount of knee room. I don't say it's very generous, but it's quite decent. Especially with the scooped out parts in the backrest, I think there's enough space. Foot space is quite good. Under thigh support is surprisingly good. And especially for slim people or for kids, I think this is a good place to be in because the windows are large, it makes for a nice airy feel. The headroom is also quite good. And if you remember, the Alto did not really have cup holders in the back, nor did it have space in the door panels for bottles or items. But here you have a nice cup holder here, a small 500ml bottle or even a 1-litre bottle can fit in there. And once you don't need it, you can just place it back in. It is flush mounted, so it also saves space. It's a good design. The Alto K10 uses the same setup that powers the Celerio, so you'll get the same 1-litre K-series or rather the K-Next engine that puts out 68 PS of power and about 90 newton meters of torque. Now, compared to the earlier K10's engine, this engine has better thermal efficiency and lesser frictional losses, which translates to better fuel economy as well. So the earlier engine claimed about 20 point something kilometers to a liter. This one claims 24 point something kilometers to a liter. Now in the real world, the Alto K10 used to return about 16 to 17 kilometers to a liter with the AC running in urban traffic. I think this one will better that by a kilometer or two per liter again. Now apart from the improved chassis, Maruti Suzuki has also given a new suspension and steering setup to the new Alto K10. So the suspension is now tuned for better ride comfort as compared to the earlier K10. Now out here on the highway roads, we haven't really felt any sort of a difference. But one difference that I did feel is that the earlier K10 was a nice hunkered down car. It was fun around the bends. This one has a slightly more wallowy feeling and those skinny tyres, they feel a little skittish when you're pushing the car around bends. But for your regular city commutes or urban commutes, or even for cruising on the highway, this car is pretty stable. The new steering setup is again focused more towards city driving. So you have a nice and light setup, so when you're ambling around in city traffic, it feels very convenient. And it has a very direct feel at those speeds and at its initial turn-ins. But when you turn in more, when you're reaching almost a full lock, it starts becoming softer. You can notice the transition. It doesn't feel as direct then. So as compared to its rivals which have that dead at center feel, this one feels better because it feels more direct. But when you want to start pushing the car around, it feels a little too light, a little too soft for my liking. But once you get used to it, the Alto will once again feel like a nice little fun Japanese hatchback. So summing this up should be pretty simple. You see, the earlier Alto K10, apart from that 1-litre engine, there was nothing really going for it. The new Alto K10 gets the bigger engine, yes, but it also has a substantially better styling and comes with the convenience of an automated transmission. So all in all, this is the better Alto to buy.